In the Fluid Dynamics Lab, located in the PSU Engineering Building, Tom Bennett, with the help of student Kimberly Williams, is constructing what looks like a habit trail, partially submerged in a tank of water. So the project is uh, sort of a um, inverted aquarium taken to the next level. If you Google inverted aquarium, there's lots of things that pop up, but most are pretty basic. And this was inspired by someone doing a small inverted aquarium on top of their koi pond. Cleaning and assembly was difficult and made more so by the fact that the pipes needed to be cleaned in order to be free of the chemicals that had accumulated through their years serving as the drainage system in the science and physics buildings. You know, it was a bunch of random plumbing pipe sections, and then the challenge was to uh, assemble it in a way where we could have the vacuum port at the top and have it arranged so that once the water drained back, if there were fish in it, that the fish wouldn't get stranded. Because the project is a demonstration and not research, there has been an issue with filling out paperwork with the group on campus associated with research involving animals. Our solution has been, uh, you know, we have the question of what type of fish and how many, and so we've enlisted the help of the wet spot tropical fish store in northeast portland and our plan now is to uh, take the uh, inverted aquarium apparatus out to their location and since they're the experts in fish let them help select the type of fish and number of fish and then also um, the care and maintenance of the aquarium and so once those issues are addressed we can fill out the form get the process approved and bring the aquarium back to campus with fish. This is Adam Justin Rutano, PSU Vanguard News.